What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel Inspired by R&R. &R. If you have been following this uh, mini series then you know that we are doing a mini series on affordable wigs. All of them are under a hundred dollars and this last wig is coming straight from amazon.com. This wig is 90 I think it was 88 or 90 like 93 dollars i'll put the exact amount somewhere in this video and this comes from eon hair my mom actually purchased this hair for me because it was in my wish list for christmas so thank you mom and without further ado let's just jump right on into it like i said this wig was on amazon so it came in exactly two days with amazon prime and it came in a pretty box with their logo they did provide a elastic band as well as an additional comb and a hairnet all included in the box and the hair was a 13 by 6 with four combs inside of the wig an elastic adjustable strap in the back and it came with a pre-plucked hairline the color on the lace was a little light but will still make it work and the hair was really bouncy and it came curled I did get one strand of hair when I stroked it with my hands, um, but that's okay. Now, I did want to compare the two colors. As you can see, the hair from AliExpress is a little bit darker than this hair. The hair from Amazon is the one on the right. I went ahead and I bleached the knots, and I let the knots be bleached for 20 minutes, and then I rinsed out that bleach. I'll leave the description, I'll leave everything that I used down in the description box as far as, you know, the bleach and everything but I've shampooed with the purple shimmer lights shampoo and I did this twice the reason why I did it twice is because the second time around I let it sit on the hair for 15 minutes after 15 minutes I rinsed that shampoo out and then I went in with my conditioner now my conditioner of choice is the main choice and I mix that with the Aussie moist if you mix these two together, your hair will smell very, very tropical and very, very fruity, and it just smells good and yummy. And who doesn't like sweet smelling, yummy smelling hair? After I put the conditioner on, I put it inside of a Walmart plastic bag. After I put it in the plastic bag, I'm going to put it in the microwave for one minute. Yes, girl, the microwave. That's how I decondition all of my wigs. I let the hair sit out for 10 minutes and then I take it out of the Walmart plastic bag. As you can see, the steam is coming off of the hair and that is always a positive sign. I know that the hair has been deeply conditioned and then I rinse it out with warm water and I pat dry with a towel. And now I'm showing you the knots. The knots look a little bit more realistic. Like I said, you don't have to do this step. This is just a preference for me. When I was combing this wet hair, I want you to know I did not have any snags, any tangles, no shed hair, and I didn't have any bald spots. I let that hair dry overnight, and then I put it on my head the next day. And right now, I'm showing you how big this wig is. You see, I can stick two fingers in it, so we need to go ahead and do the elastic band method and make this a glueless wig as well. That way it'll be fitting snug and not have you know this loose ill-fitting wig on so what I do is I like to measure it I pull it underneath the chin of my mannequin and I like to cut the excess you want it to be um, a little tight on it but not too tight that you would have a headache and then as you can see right now that is a better fit after you get the elastic band to the size that you need then you just start sewing Get you a curved needle and some thread and literally just go through the net and just start sewing, girl. It's probably going to take you um, a little longer on your first time, but right now it takes me about 10 minutes to sew for both, both sides. In and out, in and out, in and out. Just make sure you get your string and there you go. And even if you mess up, girl, it's okay because nobody is going to see the inside of this cap. Um, what I'm showing you right here is how I do the opposite side. I just wrap that band around the chin of the mannequin and I get a T-pin and put the band, um, stick the T-pin in the band so it'll stay. And you just do the same thing to the opposite side. Like I said, it takes me about 10 minutes and this is what your wig should look like once you have your band on. Now you want to cut the back of the lace. 
that lace does not need to be there I don't know why they put it there but hey they put it there so I'm just gonna cut it and now you're gonna cut the front lace I like to do a cut directly in the center like where my nose is with some scissors and then I like to pin both sides back and then I get the razor and I cut it in like a zigzag motion this will help the hairline look a little bit more natural and I like to cut that all the way back to where the earlobe is and cut past that to get all of that lace off of there. We don't need that. Get out of here. Now I get that same razor and I cut the baby hairs in the front where the bangs are. And I like to do it a little bit above the eyebrow. And now we're going to tweeze and pluck. Tweeze and pluck. I think that's the same thing, but hey. We're going to tweeze or pluck, whatever your preference is and that get that hairline to make it look more natural as you can see i'm going backwards in multiple strokes just keep going backwards and i do that all around the perimeter of this forehead um, of the hairline now i got my care care stick i'm just going to go ahead and put that where the part is and all around the crown of the head because we are going to get our good old fashioned hot comb if you girls remember getting your hair pressed out by your grandma or your mom or your auntie, whomever, and being scared because you just knew they was gonna burn your ear, let me know in the comments section below. I also got a heat protectant. This is the, the Fantasia one. It smells so good. I promise you if you get this, you'll be like, ooh, this smells yummy. And I'm just gonna press out the hair. This is going to get that stuff flat because it was a little puffy but that's with any wig to make it get that flat look you want to get a hot comb or even if you don't have a hot comb if you have a flat iron you can use a flat iron as well now i'm grabbing my baby bliss nano titanium flat iron honey and i have ran her through the mud okay i've had her a good what five six seven years look how <laughs> look how raggedy she looks but when I say when it's not broke, don't fix it, honey, she still works and she will get your hair straight. So I'm using her and what I did is I just, you know, went over with my heat protectant and I just flat ironed this hair. It was really easy to flat iron. The hair was soft. Like I said earlier, it didn't tangle. And the hair, this is a 16 inch, it came um, boob area length, whatever you want to call that. And um, in the back right there, you'll see it, it's like bra, past bra strap. So it was a really good length. What I'm doing now is showing you the concealer. I'm going to add the concealer to where that part area is. And don't worry if it looks a little messy because we're gonna wipe that with a wet rag. But I, on top of the concealer, I went on with some powder off camera. Um, I'm using, I wanna say this is Milani powder, but um, I forgot the color. Anyway, I put that on top of the concealer and then I got the wet rag and I rubbed off the excess uh, concealer and powder. And so that's what I'm showing you here is that excess. Now, that's my hairline with the baby hairs. As you can see, they're soft. I don't like that hard, crunchy look, but look at the hair. I think I did pretty good on it. It's showing you, you know, very much so Jessica Rabbit, Ariel. Um, from Little Mermaid. Um, I normally curl my hair, but today I decided to go ahead and just wear it straight just so you could see how this hair looks straight for those that like, you know, straight hair. Um, I probably will curl this hair. Not probably. I definitely will curl this hair, but this hair was really pretty and you get it for less than $100 and it's on Amazon Prime. I hope this video was helpful to you guys and I hope you like this little mini series. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It'll really help us out with this YouTube alg algorithm here. And until next time, everyone, peace.